Hey everybody, it's a big day for me personally here on All In with Brian Weatherford. I'm going to tell you why. Born and raised here in Texas, specifically North Texas, I've heard about the Collins Street Bakery my entire life. Anytime I can have a business in here in a studio that's been around longer than me, that's a big day. Well, it's been around a lot longer than me. We're going to learn all about it right now. Again, we're talking Collins Street Bakery here on All In and Mr. Collins Street Bakery for the sake of this show, at least, Hayden Crawford. Hayden, thanks for coming on board with us today. Brian, thanks for having me. Okay, I was joking a little bit about the fact that, that Collins Street's been around a little bit longer than me. How long have you been around? So, coming up on 125 years. It's a lot longer than 1896, me. 1896, a little bit longer than you, I'm thinking. So it's a multi-generational, it's still a family business, it's right? Still a family business. We bought it from the original uh, founding families mm -hmm. uh, back in the mid 40s. Okay. And uh, it was a group that came out of uh, Tennessee. Several of those uh, Tennessee uh, investors were the McNutt family. They still, it's third generation McNutt that's running it now. And I'm second generation. From, from uh, your end. From my, yeah. So how long have you officially been working for the bakery? 15 years, okay. I believe. That's about, that's about accurate. My dad started in 61. 1961. Yeah. Jeez, President Kennedy was still around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so did you kind of know from early age that eventually, yep, this is the way I'm going, or did you do some other things and then finally decide, I got to go over here? It's, so both answers are correct. Uh, so I, I knew that eventually that's where I'd end up. But mm -hmm. in the meantime, I came out of college. Uh, went straight into a pecan shelling business and went from there into an ad agency, went from there into a partnership with my current partner at the bakery, Bob mm -hmm. McNutt, who had funded this business and I went into it, then moved into the bakery. What's your role? What do you do? Uh, uh, customer service is my main thing. Mm -hmm. I also do some merchandising and do, I'm the communications uh, person for the uh, bakery, so f media television, radio, gotcha. newspaper, I'm the spokesman. The face of the bakery. Yes. Okay, well, as I mentioned, I mean, I'm born and raised here in, in Arlington, Texas, and we're not too far from Corsicana, the home. Uh -huh. Have you always been in Corsicana? Yes, we have. We wow. were founded there, and uh, we've never moved far from there. We, we've, we've, we've stayed in Corsicana. We've bounced around to, we've put up a store in Waco now, in okay. addition to our Corsicana, uh, and then one near Tyler uh, in Lindale on I-20. Well, we got to get into it because the first thing I want people to notice is the name Collins Street Bakery because, let's be honest, everybody associates fruitcake. Yeah. We're going to get into it. Yeah, fruitcake, of course, you're yeah. more than fruitcake. Oh, yeah. But give me a ballpark figure on, I don't know, numbers or pounds or how much fruitcake are we talking that comes out of there and goes all over the world annually. Okay. It's, it's going to be north of a million pounds this <laughs> okay. year. It could be even more if this we can figure out this COVID thing. Yeah, but, for but, sure. But more than a million pounds of fruitcake this year. We'll go into all 50 states, and we'll go into 196 foreign countries. Goodness gracious. Yeah. It's, a, it's an amazing business. It's absolutely amazing, and let, let's, let's get this straight. There are a lot of businesses now that have had to, to scurry to figure out how to represent themselves online. You've been doing it for some time now. We've been doing it forever. So we, we were the first, one of the first in the, in the world, to use mail order to uh, sell our food products. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we led the business. People have come to us for our expertise in how do you mail order food and then transition that into um, the online business. And that, of course, is burgeoned. Well, and I've, I've got to think the on online side is far higher than the, than the in-store side. It, it, uh, it is. It's, yeah. and, and growing every year we see uh, an increase in that side of the business. Uh, it, it is, it's fun to watch. Well, it, it's extremely fun to watch, and, and frankly, it's fun to eat, too. We're, there you go. I'm going to get into the, to, to the different ones here in a sec, but the one thing that, that's always intrigued me, again, it's 120 how many years? 120. It'll be 125 in January. Okay, and, and I know you've heard this before, so yeah. it's not just me talking. People yeah. say, well, I really don't like fruitcake. Well, you know what, people? There's a lot of people that love fruitcake, yeah. or you wouldn't have been around this long. That, well, that's right. Why do people say that? Uh, well, uh, Carson kind of hurt us when oh. he said he told his joke. Uh, there's only one fruit cake, and it's just passed from person to person. Right. That was not good for us. <laughs> also, you you go to if you go to a store and you pick up a fruit cake at Christmas time, they're mm -hmm. going to sell you uh, schlock. It's easy to get and it's easy to sell. Uh, ours is different. Uh, we it's about a third pecans. They're freshly shelled. We have mm -hmm. the world's largest pecan shelling plant. Shell our pecans fresh daily. A uh, third of them go into the cake. Uh, we had, and just recently sold a, a majority of it, we had the world's largest organic operation in Costa Rica where we grew our pineapple and our uh, papaya. Mm -hmm. uh, Dole wanted it. We sold most of it, kept about 150 acres. We're still growing our pineapple there. But we bring that pineapple and, and papaya up 
to be part of the fruitcake. We've got our cherries out of uh, Michigan and the Pacific Northwest. We've got our raisins, our golden raisins out of California. And it all goes into this thing. We blend it with about 15% batter. That's it. What's not to like about that? Well, and let's be honest too, Hayden. There's a reason that you go all over the place to get the ingredients because you want the top ingredients you can get. That's exactly right. And we'll pay in advance for them and we lock down suppliers and we just, we make sure our cake is the best money can buy. So I'm going to go ahead and change it then. When people say they don't like fruitcake, what they're saying is, we don't like fruitcake that doesn't come from Corsicana, Texas and Collins Street Bakery. That's what they're saying. Exactly. That's what they're <laughs> saying. So what we do is in all of our stores, we uh, sample, free samples of our product because um, there are a lot of people that think they don't like fruitcake. They'll tell you they don't. Mm -hmm. And if you stop and ask them, a lot of them will say, well, I've never had it. Exactly. I just, I just know I don't like it. And that, so the free samples can turn a lot of those folks around. Um, the worst I've ever heard is, hey, that's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. There's a, there's hey. a ringing endorsement. There you go. Well, you know, I'm the, I'm the guy that I hate spinach until I eat spinach, and now I love spinach. And the hay. <laughs> that's <laughs> you know, right. It's the same thing. So, yeah. Well, we keep talking fruitcake, fruitcake, fruitcake. There's a lot of stuff here on the table. Not all of it's fruitcake. Right. Uh, but I, I, I'm curious because I'm looking at the backside of this stuff. Grab that red box here on my right. Yeah, yeah. What, what is that? That looks special. This is our this is our special product. This is the deluxe fruitcake. Um, I mentioned earlier to you uh, mm -hmm. before we went on air that this is actually in the Godfather. So, oh my! And this wasn't product placement. Um, so the set designer, we guess, wanted a little piece of Americana in the shot, and they placed our fruitcake tin, and you can see it. And I'd never spotted it before. None of my friends had. None of my partners had. Uh, then someone saw it, screenshot it, sent it to me about a decade ago, and I use it in all of my advertising now. Oh, it's a pretty good, pretty good piece to have. You know, yeah. You, you talk about your advertising. I was looking at the notes prior to you coming. You can sit that back down I, if you want. But I was looking at the notes. You guys get a little bit of press every year. Do, do, and, I, and I know that's your job, but, yeah. but I, it's been going on, frankly, before you came around. That, but very true. Give us some samples of the people. I mean, we're talking print, electronic, everything. We, well, because we're such an iconic business, sure. and, and, and because we are Christmas-oriented, it, it is an attractive thing to cover during the season. But yeah, we've been on, um, let's see, there's a, there's a show on the Food Network called The Best Thing I Ever Ate. Oh, absolutely. Featured yeah. us on it. Uh, the chef said, I don't think I'm going to like fruitcake, but I want to try the best I've heard in, in the United States, so I'm going to try Collins Streets. He tried it, loved it. Uh, sample it with his other chefs mm. and it's, they repeat that show they've been repeating it for five years now take that uh, Johnny Carson yeah take that Johnny Carson <laughs> um, uh, the Travel Channel has a thing called the Jingle Brawls and <laughs> Jingle Brawls Jingle Brawls I yeah. like that yeah. and it was us against one of those monasteries that make their fruit cakes and okay. we won we won hands down sure I had to in the in the spot they wanted me to trash talk the, the uh, monks and I was like <laughs> I don't want to trash talk. No, I'm not that. doing that. I don't want to bring that down on me. Yeah. But we had fun doing it, and they, and they trash talked us back. And <laughs> it was a friendly rivalry in the end, though uh, we did win. And uh, History Channel has covered us several times, and uh, ABC's The Chew. Oh, yeah, for sure. Big, big, we, we had five minutes of their show. You know, there, there's so many companies out there that would kill for that. They, they'd be sending out press release after press release yeah. trying to get that. All you're doing is fending phone calls. Just fending phone calls. But yeah. the reason you're doing that is because of the history of this place. Right. It's right. all been built it, up over the years. Pre-sold. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, I'm down to about a minute now, but let's talk non-fruitcake items. Okay. Go ahead. What okay. Do we so, got? so we're a full-service bakery. We serve. We have everything: uh, breads, cakes, pies, cookies, pastries, and then of course our our fruit cakes. But uh, here is a fudge pecan pie that's in all of our stores or you can order it through the mail. Same thing here is our pecan pie. It's a wonderful, amazing dish. That's a Tennessee recipe for a uh, deep dish pecan pie and it's fabulous. Mm -hmm. These guys are, it's a smaller version, it's a bite-sized version of our uh, fruit cakes so, chocolate covered. All right, uh, you know what? I, I, I knew I was gonna have to do that. I gotta cut you off, but basically <laughs> folks, here's the deal. Just, just all you need to know is this. There's a reason they've been around for over 120 years and they're all over the world. And it's because they know what the heck they're doing and they're always expanding the product line. Hayden Crawford, Collins Street Bakery. Thanks for being here today, sir. Brian, Happy thank holidays you early. To you too, and thank you for having me. Thank you much. All right, you Folks, bet. thank you as well. Sit tight. We'll be right back. <laughs>